Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Denshi. Uh, today, we're gonna be installing Ubuntu 8. Uh, it's uh, Linux. Today, we will install Linux. It's a free OS, like Windows, but free, so you don't have to crack it. Um, so the first thing you have to do to get Linux is you have to go to Google and you have to search Ubuntu latest version 8 uh, and then we're gonna find it. It might take a long time to load the Ubuntu page. Now that I found it you have to scroll down and you have to click uh, desktop i386 ISO if your computer is 32-bit and then download it uh, or AMD 64 if your computer is 64 bit although those are kind of expensive and I don't really know anybody who has that so I'm gonna get uh, i386 after downloading the file of Linux uh, you need a DVD or CD to burn it on just like music so I'm just gonna open my DVD tray you want to put a DVD in and then close it. It might take a long time to load. You have to click on the ISO and burn it on the disk. Okay, the ISO is downloaded and it's been burned. So you might have to go put it into your computer again. Now what you have to do is Turn, turn off your PC when it turns on and you see uh, American Megatrends, press F8, this is important, and then select your DVD drive on the boot. Okay, so you might get a menu like this. And we're going to select the DVD CD. And here we are in Ubuntu. So you might have a menu like this where you have to select your language. I'm going to select English. So we are going to install Ubuntu. You'll get a loading screen like this when it is loading. This might take a while depending on your DVD drive speed. And here we are in Ubuntu. So you'll get an install page like this and a beautiful wallpaper. We're gonna run through the install. You have to click forward, then select a location. We're going to select, uh, I don't know, here. Vatican, sure. We're gonna use the USA keyboard or any keyboard you want to use. I don't know what keyboard you use. And here's the difficult part. We're going to delete all of the files of our Windows XP and put on only Ubuntu unless you want to do it with a specific partition. So we're going to click forward and just delete everything. Now we have to pick a name. I'm going to call myself Denshi. My password is going to be something secure and uh, the name, you can name this anything. Now that we've done this, the installation might take a while, so you might want to put on some Limp Bizkit uh, or, you know, any other kind of music which you like. I'm going to listen to Linkin Park and just wait for this to finish, and then I'll come back. Okay, so now it says installation complete, and you can restart your computer. Uh, just make sure to take out the DVD when this happens. It will ask you to do it. Uh, I'm just going to click the eject button on my DVD drive, and it should boot it up there you go it says it says eject the disk ejected it press enter okay now you might get some weird glitches or things as it loads but eventually Ubuntu will load up on your computer and you will have a brand new Linux system it will ask for our username I put Denshi password is my very secure password I set uh, and here we are in Ubuntu Linux so as you can see, we have an interface here. 
it's connected to the internet your speakers might not work it depends on the speakers you use uh, let's look at some of the things you can do in Ubuntu so the first thing it comes with is all the basic stuff you probably have like Tomboy Notes you probably heard of Tomboy Notes before it's a very good notes program uh, you know you can start writing notes and stuff uh, Tomboy Notes okay then there's also one other thing you can do is it comes with an image editor called GIMP with the creepy fox. Uh, what you can do is you can edit images with this. You can create a new image. Uh, okay, here we are. Here's our new image. And we can start drawing stuff. Uh, like for example, I love um, Limp Biscuit because I do. Uh, that's all well and good. You can also do um, web browsing with Firefox. Uh, it comes with, uh, yeah, it has some problems. Yeah, here we are. Ubuntu. Here we are in Ubuntu 8. It even comes with Google search. Uh, you can also use Pigeon Internet Messenger, which lets you, you know, you can use your AIM. You can do your AIM chats here. And there's also Open Office Word Processor, which is just like Microsoft Word. Where we can start writing our, you know, whatever we need to write. So there's that. Then there's also an audio CD extractor and a program called Brazero. Brazero is really good. You can like burn all your audio CDs. I love burning all my CDs and like playing them in my car. Uh, so yeah, and not to mention all the many different games that Ubuntu comes with, uh, like this one. You can play solitaire with a big foot over there. Uh, you can do things like other games there's chess if you want to play chess so uh, yeah I mean that was my guide on how to install Ubuntu just one thing you don't want to do is open the scary program called terminal uh, terminal can mess up your stuff you can do like uh, sudo rm dash rf slash dash dash no preserve root and if you run this command uh, with you know it actually deletes your system so uh, 